My mini Sonic screwdriver has a light, a laser, the ability to charge phones and turn off TVs, and more, all while being able to fit into a pocket. I designed it, built it, and wrote most of the code. In this video, I'll show you how to make one for yourself. For this project, you'll need an Arduino Pro Mini, a LiPo battery, an IR LED, some sort of laser diode, a tricolor LED, a white LED, preferably a bright one, a toggle switch, two push buttons, a boost converter with a USB output, some sort of input port, uh, in this case a micro USB, two TIP-102 power transistors. You'll also need a 470 ohm resistor, plus solder and wire, plus a soldering iron, hot glue gun, and a knife or wire stripper. Pliers are helpful, but not necessary. Some of the links to buy the parts needed are in the description. For reference, you can see the schematic here, or in the Google Drive folder linked below. But fear not if you don't have experience reading a schematic, as I'll walk you through what gets connected to what. First, you'll want to get some sort of central structural support. Here I use a pencil, a bit improvised, but it works. Strip the wires off the ends of the leads of your battery and glue it to the pencil or other structural support. Glue on the switch, then solder the battery's positive lead to one lead of the switch. Attach leads to the positive and negative outputs of your boost converter, i.e. the 0 volt and 5 volt lines. Then glue it to the pencil and attach the ground lead of the battery to the negative input of the boost converter. Remember, negative and ground are essentially synonymous here. Solder a wire going from the other lead of the switch to the positive input lead of the boost converter. At this point, if you've done things right and used the same boost converter that I did, you should be able to see a faint red light whenever you turn the switch on. Solder leads to the positive and negative terminals of the input USB port, then glue it to the battery. In this case, the positive terminal attachment point is on the right, and the negative is on the left. Connect the positive terminal to the positive battery lead, and the negative terminal to the negative battery lead. If you've done it right, you should now be able to charge the battery through the input USB port. If you have one, use a multimeter to double check which lead of the boost converter output is positive and which is negative. If you don't have one, you can see here that the one with the blue clip on it is negative. Glue the Arduino to the pencil and attach the negative boost converter output to ground on the Arduino, and the positive boost converter output to 5 volts on the Arduino. When you turn it on, the light on the Arduino should come on now. Keep it off when you're working on it, though. Glue the bright LED and one of the transistors to the pencil. Bend the emitter lead of the transistor to touch the positive pad of the LED as shown. Connect the collector lead of the transistor, the one in the middle, to the positive input of the boost converter. Connect the base lead of the transistor to pin 10 of the Arduino. Connect the negative pad of the LED to the negative side of the input of the boost converter. One useful strategy to make sure you've done everything right is to write a test sketch to blink the LED, which I've done here. But this isn't necessary, so don't bother if you don't know how. Glue the multicolor LED to the pencil. Connect the ground lead of the multicolor LED to the ground pin of the Arduino. 
The ground lead is likely the longest lead on the multicolor LED, but look up and consult a data sheet if you aren't sure. Connect the blue lead of the multicolor LED to pin 9 on the Arduino, the green lead to pin 6, and the red lead to pin 5. If the ground lead is the one on the center left, the red is the one on the left, green center right, and blue right. I've done a similar thing to the blink sketch from before here, but with all three colors this time. Again, useful but optional. Glue the IR LED to the pencil and solder its negative lead, likely the shorter one, to the negative input of the boost converter. Then glue the other transistor to the pencil. Connect the emitter of the transistor to the positive lead of the infrared LED. Connect the collector of the transistor to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino. Connect the base of the transistor to one end of a 470 ohm resistor and the other end of that resistor to pin 3 of the Arduino. Connect pin 8 of the Arduino to the positive terminal of the laser diode. In this case, making that connection secure requires wrapping the wire tightly around the laser diode. Connect the negative terminal of the laser diode to the ground pin of the Arduino. Glue two buttons to the battery as shown. Connect one end of each button to the Arduino ground pin. Connect the other end of the button nearest the charge port to pin 2 of the Arduino. Connect the other end of the other button to pin 4 of the Arduino. Finally, connect the negative input of the boost converter to the ground pin of the Arduino and the positive input of the boost converter to pin A0 of the Arduino. Download and install the Arduino IDE if you haven't already. Download the Google Drive folder linked in the description Go to the TinySonic folder and open the TinySonic.ino file with the Arduino IDE. Connect your computer to the Arduino, which will require a cable and an FTDI adapter. Select port and board type and upload the sketch. Cut the pencil if need be, add a case if you want one, and your new pocket sonic screwdriver should be ready for use. If you have any issues building your own or questions about the project, leave a comment below and I'll try to help out. If there's interest in these devices, I may make another video with some tips about using some of the advanced features of the devices. And with that, enjoy your new pocket sonic screwdriver.